worst cheaters ever. Remove the blindfold. Yeah! Okay. That's you cheating on me. Uh, so get the f out of my house right now. What's going on, guys? Shot Clips here once again. And let's go try some wild clips of the worst cheaters I can find. Look who's my favorite clip will be at the end. So make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But this first one, guys, it is definitely not good either. And I'm streets. I'm being so serious right now. No. I'm sorry. There's nothing you can say to me that you can do for me. Could, nothing you could do for me. I, I could, could block them. I could. I could uh, even call them right now. Yeah. Until yes, they're working that. No. Please. Sorry, please. No. Please. This is what's gonna happen. No, I don't. I don't want to. No. I get it. Look, 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 look. Stop stopping, girl. We in an apartment, girl. Get get the fuck off your knees, bro. Please, I'm not. Okay, keep talking. Ask me to beg me for nothing. Go sit down. No. Look, I prom look. It sucks, right? Because I, I was that. willing to do anything and everything for you. Really, I really was. Cause I brought you out here. Like that's already crazy. Stop, please, no. Look, I, go. It, it was my fault. Yeah, it no, was. I'm sorry. No. Please forgive me. That's fine. I'll forgive you, but I damn sure no. won't forget. Crazy how we had that conversation like an hour please ago. Please stop. No, bro. You look. You just have to grow the fuck up and accept that you fucked up. That's that. I, yes, I'm accepting it. Okay. Please, please. You please. act like shit like that don't come with like consequences. Now nah, I'm not gonna fucking flip your shit right now. I'm gonna. I'm being nice. I'm telling you to pack your things. I'm taking you to the airport. I'm even get you a flight, bro. And this next little is absolutely delusional. Basically, I guess she's on the show because she has the highest and not even highest, worst expectations of a guy ever. Like she's never gonna find a man in her life. I'm gonna be honest. Just listen to this list. It's absolutely so stupid. Must be adventurous. Must be humble. Must be spontaneous. Must be a planner. Can't be self-centered. Can't be cocky. Must love dogs. Can't own a dog from a breeder can't be jealous of her dog and can't own a cat the hell what <laughs> any guy that's going to spend a ton of money to buy a purebred dog it just says something about his character i don't like yeah that. he wants a dog <laughs> And this sex was absolutely crazy as well. Basically, we have this woman who I guess was cheating on her husband. So he decides to get revenge on her in this way by bringing a girl over his house. And I guess when the wife comes back home to see that he has another woman at the house, she starts absolutely flipping out because I guess she doesn't like the taste of revenge. Then she starts telling him to get out of the house when he owns at least 60% of it. So legally, he can't leave this house. The ex is mad because I brought a new girl home after I found out she cheated. No, just like how you sent a letter saying, please. Have I own 60% of the house. And this next one is also delusional. At this point, I don't even know what the hell's going on with society. Basically, this woman is saying that math is racist. Yes, math. Two plus two is now racist, guys. And this listen to her reasoning. I, I just literally stopped watching. Okay, quickly, so I'm done. Mr. Kid, are we saying that two plus two, if you say it's four, that's racist? I mean, that sounds like we may be mischaracterizing it. What, uh, if you can quickly sum it up. No, that's not mischaracterizing it at all. It's that math is basically racist under this ideology because it says there is no such thing as an objective reality. So four might not be the right number. Two plus two might actually equal five. What the fuck, y'all? God damn! God in this next one there is this guy he's asking these women what do women do at a bachelorette party and of course we kind of all know the answer and i'm just saying i don't know why this tradition is still a thing i think bachelorette parties are absolutely stupid and people will be like oh it's just a one last time to be single and i'm like no you've been in a relationship for quite some time this is not where you get to cheat what do you think goes down at a bachelorette a lot of dirty things maybe a little bit of cheesing on your husband just a little bit minimal 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 maybe kiss and this next one, this woman asked this guy, would you date a woman or marry her if her body count was a thousand? He still says yes. This man is absolutely lying to himself. Who says yes to that? You marry a woman that slept with a hundred men? Yes. You marry a woman that slept with 500 men? Yes, absolutely. Just the case of... Woman, a woman that slept with a thousand men, would you really marry her? The fact they've slept with a thousand men won't change anything.
And this next one, I guess this woman was disrespecting this guy, I don't know, on YouTube. And let me just say, he did not hold back when he was roasting her life. I don't know how she didn't cry. You're gonna get real disrespectful for no reason, though. You know what I'm saying? You look, look, on real your face is giving like Peter Griffin off like Family Guy. But so bad it is even worse. You know what I'm saying? And this next one is absolutely so entertaining. Basically, this guy is giving a story about how he was cheated on. And this wife was apologizing the entire time. Until the man gets revenge in a way that I thought was super creative. And I don't blame this man at all. If you guys feel bad for the wife, I, I don't think you should. He's just playing the game the fair way, in my opinion. My husband found out that I was hooking up with my co-worker a while back. He snooped through my phone and found the texts and pictures between us. I owned up to my stupid mistake and pleaded for him to forgive me. He told me that we weren't gonna divorce but he still needed a break. I accepted and we were separated for about a month. I spent that month apologizing to him when I had the chance. Eventually he accepted, under one condition, we opened the marriage. I immediately accepted without thinking twice. Everything seemed to have been going great. I have been playing perfect wife ever since to make up for the hurt I've caused. I have done so much for him even when I was reluctant. A couple weeks ago I saw him getting ready. I asked what the occasion was and without even looking at me he said that he was going on a date. My heart sank. I thought things were back to normal. Eventually he kept going on more and more dates and I started to feel even more distant than when we were separated. He would reject all my advances and I would just spend nights crying myself to sleep. I know I hurt him. But I've already admitted my mistake countless times and I've remained faithful. In this last clip, there is this girl, I guess she was exposed for snoring. And the man that was with her, I guess, didn't like it either. I woke up and the guy I invited over was gone. I asked him why he left. Then he sent me this. I actually hate myself now. And this next one, I'm not sure if it's a skit. It doesn't look like it is. But I guess this guy just pretty much cheated right in front of her with her best friend. Did you just kiss my best friend? It's okay. We've done it before. You I know what? You knew about no. Y'all can just be together. It's okay. Hey, we can. Hey, Laura. That's what you're doing. You want the boy next to it? You a cold motherfucker, ain't you? You as a and I'll put my favorite clip on the list, guys. Basically, there's this mom who ends up ruining her marriage within literally 10 seconds. I don't support this at all, and I can't believe this guy completely allowed her to do this. Even though he knew that she was married, I got shame on him as well. I don't support this at all. Married. That's what's relevant to me. That's what's relevant to you? Yeah. When, in, when did you get married? Uh, approximately three and a half years ago, almost four years ago. What would you rate me on a scale from one to ten? Like hotness? Everything, overall. Overall, hold on. He's a 10. Can I get a kiss on the cheek? I cannot believe this woman literally ruined her marriage within 15 seconds. She doesn't even seem like she's married. I don't care if she's drunk or she's drinking or any of that. The fact that she has her arm around this guy and she even gave him a kiss on the cheek, I'm pretty sure if the husband saw that, he'd get an immediate divorce. Thankfully, this video went kind of viral, so hopefully he did see it. That does it for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.